Hello friends, Stevens here. I'm going to read you Happy New Year, Pooh. December 31st, said Pooh. Time to turn the page of my calendar. Pooh lifted the December page. Hmm. He scratched behind his ear. No more pages? No more months? cried Piglet. That's t terrible. Oh, Pooh's calendar is just broken, said Tigger. Let's go look at mine. Tigger's calendars are never broken. Tigger bounced into his house and flipped up the December page. He gasped. His tail drooped. No more months? It's true. What are we going to do? We could make a poem to say goodbye to the months, said Pooh. It's too sad, said Piglet. I can't think of anything to say. You can't think a poem, really, said Pooh. It just has to come to you. He sat down and looked at his paws. At last, he looked up and said, Goodbye, January, with snow and frost. Oh, the dear, said Piglet, our whole year is lost. That's good, said Pooh. It rhymes very nicely. Pooh continued, No more February, Valentine sweets. Goodbye, March, with winds and sleets. Sleets? asked Tigger. Well, you try, said Pooh. Tiggers don't do poultry, said Tigger. Tiggers can do Tigger poultry, said Pooh. So Tigger began. <clears throat> I'll miss April's drippy rains and Macy's crazy daisy chains. Did I rhyme it enough? asked Tigger. Yes, said Pooh. You rhymed enough. This is fun, said Tigger. I'm feeling sadder and sadder, said Piglet. He wiped a tear from his cheek. You try, said Pooh. There's nothing like a bit of poetry to make you feel better. I'll miss June, said Piglet, when the wood was green and sniff all the Julys that might have been. Been what? asked Tigger. Well, warm and picnicky, said Piglet. Mmm, smiled Tigger. They sat quietly for a while. Then Pooh brightened. I think the rest of the poem has come to me, he said. Goodbye, August, hot and lazy. Farewell, September. Cool and hazy. October's colors will always remember, and the pumpkin pies of chill November. To December, farewell. We'll miss your cheer, our favorite month of all the year. We don't have to say goodbye to December, said Tigger. We're stuck here forever. Oh, yes, said Pooh. I forgot. F forever? sighed Piglet. Toot, toot, ring-a-ling-ling, bing-a-tee-bang. Piglet, Pooh, and Tigger heard these strange sounds coming from Rabbit's house. Maybe Rabbit's in trouble, cried Tigger. Let's go! Rabbit's house was filled with balloons and colorful streamers. Toot, toot, Eeyore was trumpeting on a little horn. Ring-a-ling-ling, -ling. Rabbit was ringing a bell. 
Bang a T Bang. Christopher Robin was drumming on a pot with a wooden spoon, while Kinga, Roo, and Owl looked on cheerfully. I wonder why they're so happy," whispered Pooh. "They haven't heard the sad news," whispered Piglet. "Well, it's our bounding duty to tell them," said Tigger. He bounced over to Rabbit's calendar and lifted the December page. "I'm sorry to spoil the festivities," he said, "but we seem to have a big problem." There will be no more months in the hundred acre wood," said Pooh. Piglet wiped another tear. "Well, I suppose it's to be expected," said Eeyore. "Gaiety, song and dance—it doesn't work for everyone, you know." "Don't worry, Eeyore," said Christopher Robin. "Of course." There will be more months. There will, asked Pooh. Christopher Robin handed Pooh a pot. Come on, help us ring in the new year! He cried. New year? Asked Pooh. You mean we have a whole new year ahead of us? Yes, said Christopher Robin. What a new January! And a new February, asked Pooh. And a whole new March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December, cried Tigger. Yes, said Christopher Robin. And look, I've got new calendars for each one of us. Wow. Said Pooh, "They're beautiful, they're fantabulous!" cried Tigger. "This is so great! We should have a party to celebrate." "That's exactly what we're doing," said Rabbit. He gave Tigger a horn. "There now, no more moping around. We've got to welcome in the new year with a happy noise." Piglet smiled quietly. He thought about the picnics and pumpkin pies he'd be sharing with his friends in the new year. It's a very friendly thing to say goodbye to the old year and welcome in the new one with your friends," he said. "Yes," said Pooh, giving Piglet a little hug. "That's just the way it should be." Da and.